to do is enter this office, and it's done. It's nearly done. I hope so. We'll know in a few minutes. But I really need you to wait here. I'm going in with Marco. I don't like that man. Hiding ambition behind lofty words? He's no better than anyone else in the Source. Those he can't control, he kills. You're probably right, I have to admit. But don't worry. I'll keep my wits about me. Wait for me here, and don't worry. This will all be settled soon enough. base Aurora in the eyes of the other guilds if you humiliated its dowser. I couldn't allow that. You've allowed a criminal to escape justice. A man that didn't budge while the Technomancers took power and massacred the militia. I was sure you wouldn't understand what was at stake here. But I'm ready to answer for my actions. You think being some kind of hero is gonna get you out of this? You deserve one thing. To die exactly the same way as your friend. Like a dog. Are you sure you want to kill him? Won't it make him a martyr? This type of thing could be used by those who still support the government. You know what he did, and what he stood by and let others do. All those people who died to quench their thirst for power. And you would spare him? I know what he did, but it's not up to us to decide if he lives. Given his crimes, he has to appear in front of a judge, in front of the people. Even if it's just putting off the inevitable? I thank you, Roy. You think you're following some higher set of ideals, but you're wrong. Tyrants are not worthy of such mercy. All right, if that's your wish, Roy. But there's no place for you in the Resistance. I doubt your commitment to our cause, and we can't have that. After your compromise with Abundance, I'm not sure I'd have wanted to stay anyway. Bye, Marco. Resistance and right ideas of freedom for the people. I've committed sabotage, spied, even killed. For the sake of a man who, in the name of his ideas, didn't hesitate to betray his guild. But the end sometimes justifies the means. Thanks to our actions, the Technomancers are now under constant resistance surveillance. Their dreams of power are at an end, this time. Marco even wanted to destroy the Order, but I managed to get him to understand it would be a mistake. Aurora needs them regardless. Mary once thought about joining them, but I convinced her to stay with me. Whatever the future holds, at least we'll meet it together. Tenacity has decided to hunt for the Resistance. He's looking for traitors. Anyone and everyone suspected of participating in all the horrible things. This will probably lead to a lot of cleansing. Judy hates the idea, but she can't stop the people from holding grudges, and stopping Marco's fanaticism is even harder. Aurora will have to set up a new government. I hope, of course, that it'll be more just, but I'm not dreaming. There will always be tyrants ready to take over the guild, ready to dominate the people for their own ends. And to be honest, Marco fits the profile perfectly. As usual, Judy will keep debating to try to defend her dream, and she even asked me to help, but since I'm no longer welcome there, I'm thinking of leaving Chatelaire and going to another city where I'll be able to see how things turn out. The battle is clearly not over yet. Abundance won't give up the struggle despite Marco's politicking. If he thought giving them Greeno would be enough for them, even though we still have a war hero, he'll soon be sent to trial. If they let him off, I fear he'll just become the leading opponent of the new government. Anyway, 
For the moment, life goes on and Aurora can now dream of a better future. One that innocence who sacrificed himself for this dream will never know. And so I write the final words of the war log of Innocent Smith to give it a proper ending. Farewell, kid. A 